You are watching People's Dispatch. I am Suranga reporting from New Delhi where thousands of students have gathered at the heart of the capital city at Parliament Street protesting against the conservative policies of the far-right BJP government led by Narendra Modi. The students here are saying that the policies which have been put forward by this government in the past decade of its rule are extremely anti-student, anti-youth and have led to uh, a deterioration of the uh, quality of education and of, un or, and of employment in the country. They are particularly uh, opposing the new education policy which the students say it will completely destroy the public education system of the country and greatly limit access to education, particularly to the poor and marginalized communities of the country. And in light of the upcoming general elections in the next few months, the students are demanding an end to the regime of the BJP-led Modi government. So let's go to the students here and listen to their demands. More than 16 student organization is participating in the protest rally that has been organized under the banner of United States Students of India. We know that in the last 10 years, under the RSS BJP late Modi government, there have been disastrous anti-student policies which have been taking place uh, against the student community. We have seen regularly there have been fund cuts, uh, pushing of more privatization in the educational space. Uh, public education is uh, facing a huge onslaught by the present uh, current regime. And also we have been seeing the uh, reduction of scholarships, especially recently a scholarship for the minority community inside this country has been scrapped. We have been seeing reduction of scholarships for the women and the other uh, minorities and marginalized community. We are primarily demanding the new education policy, which is absolutely anti-student, anti-people and anti-poor. We want the NEP to go away because uh, the kind of policies that the government is implementing, if all those are there in place, then people from marginalized section, the women, the Shirulka, Shirul tribe, the OBC, uh, the minority, none of us are going to have the chance to get an education in India. In the past few years, we have been seeing that there has been a continuous communalization and saffronization in the educational space. Changing of syllabuses, also the right-wing propaganda uh, is being used, uh, is being uh, pushed into the education sector in a way that appointments are happening according to ideologies, the right-wing ideologies. The teachers, the uh, university professors, everyone been appointed, uh, are being appointed according to the far right uh, ideology. Also, the things that are being taught, whether it's the history books, whether it's the books of constitution and everything, they are trying to rewrite the history in the fashion that suits the right wing ideology, which is a huge onslaught on the democratic ethos of this country. The BJP government, they have started an onslaught on the students and youth of our country. We saw every day unemployment rate is increasing. And today we are here, you can see this is a festival of resistance and we are fighting against these policies, these fascist policies of the Modi government. They are trying to destroy the very equal ethos of our ethos of our, our constitution, the soul of our constitution, which is based on secularism, socialism and democracy. So the new education policy is saying that uh, the responsibility that state earlier used to have on ensuring that people have education. We know when India got independence, we started talking about universal education. That means everyone who is a citizen of this country will be having the right to get education. But if you're going to look into the NEP, the government is telling on your face that they're not going to spend for your education anymore. Regarding all these issues and the grappling unemployment ratio that the country has been facing, which is the highest in the last 45 years, uh, today's uh, protest rally is to send a message to the representatives uh, at this moment in the Modi government who are sitting in the parliament and taking policies such as the new education policy and pushing further the privatization policies inside this education uh, sector of this country. We want to just say them that the education sector is for all. Education should be accessible and of quality for the all. And we find that the Modi government and the current regime has failed uh, to uh, um, like uh, listen to the aspirations of the student community in India. We want a scientific education. We want a secular education. We know in 2024 the national election is going to happen. We want our agenda to be a part of the political agenda. 
As much as we are seeing anti-student policies uh, driven by this government on the student community, we are also seeing resistance in the past few years. We have seen mass movement from the student community, resistance from the student community against this, uh, against the anti-student policies that the government has tried to push. But we are also seeing that as much resistance is there, there is curbing of dissent continuously happening. Student to youth who are coming down to the streets, uh, coming down on the streets because parliament is not able to support the aspirations of the students. We have seen that students' arrests have been made brutal. Uh, police uh, has been used against the student to curb down their voices, to stifle the dissenting voices. And many of the youth and students who have been very in the forefront of democratic movements are languishing in jail uh, from several universities. So we are here, the students and youth of our country, we are uniting and for the first time in the history of our student movement, the 16 student organizations, they are coming together despite differences of ideology, they are coming together to fight against this fascist BJP regime. And as you know, this BJP government, this fascist government, they are collaborating with the this Zionist forces, those who are killing in Israel, they are changing our foreign policy, the independent foreign policy they are trying to destroy. So. This is also, this is not a culture of our country. This is not our India, which we know. So that is why this is for uniting the everyone for the, that is why we give a slogan, uh, save education, reject national education policy, save India, reject BJP.